We've been waiting a long time for the calculator app on the iPad. Was it worth the wait? Let's find out. Hey guys, it's Ropsy with Paperless X. If you're interested in learning how to use the different features in iPadOS that we're covering on this channel, make sure to check out our course channel, Paperless Humans. I find myself searching for maths notes each time I want to use the calculator app, but I get nothing. That means maths notes is actually not an app, right? Otherwise, it will show up in the search results when I look for it, no? I'm glad we cleared that up. Still in the spirit of clearing things up, the calculator app has been acting up in a very interesting way and we managed to capture the bug on screen. Several times when I opened the app on my iPad, I landed on what felt and looked like a completely different app. The ads at the bottom of the app made this even more bizarre. So we explored the app and found an option to pay for the app to remove ads and several other features that you can unlock when you pay for the app. We dug deeper into the mystery and landed on an app called Calculator by Ratha So. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Couldn't help but wonder if Apple just copied the code from this app and modified it just a little to give us the calculator app. I mean, developers share a lot of code, but this is a very different case. The resemblance is uncanny. What do you guys think? Closing the calculator when this glitch happens quickly fixes everything, and we're back to the calculator app like nothing happened. The basic calculator seems to be the default landing page the first time you open the app. It is a typical calculator that does simple calculations. And you get a sidebar with your history. It helps to quickly refer back to something you did in the app before. There's not much you can do with your history except look at it or clear it if you want. The app also has a scientific calculator with more functions, but nothing we haven't seen before. The sidebar is consistent throughout the different calculators available in the app. For both the basic and scientific calculators, you can convert many units. For 15 different items. My favorite is the time conversion. I found myself needing that a lot lately, so yeah. The currency conversion is also very interesting. It uses Yahoo Finance to update all the information that you need, so that's also very helpful. The last and certainly most interesting part of the calculator app in iPadOS 18 is Maths Notes. It is that app that allows you to handwrite your math problems instead of typing them. I love that Apple didn't make this a standalone app. And it is also fascinating how it integrates the calculator app and Apple Notes. How fantastic is that? You can access the exact same feature in two different apps. This is what Apple should have done with Freeform and probably journal too. Simply add them as smart folders in Apple Notes. Back to the calculator. The idea of handwriting calculations is not a new concept. My script, the Nebo developers have had this technology for years now. But what sets math notes apart is that we can mix handwritten notes with math problems and the app is able to pick up only the maths to solve it. That is very impressive and useful because you don't end up just having a bunch of numbers that you don't really know what they mean. It's very important that we are able to go back to our calculations and still have the notes that are related to them. Coupled with how natural we can do this, maths notes has made the iPad more useful 
especially for me i'm at a time in my life where i'm doing a lot of calculations and this is definitely a feature that i needed in a handwriting note taking app you can use any handwriting tool including the highlighter to do your calculations i even mix them up to try and give the feature a bit of a challenge unfaced since all of this is essentially happening in Apple Notes, you can still interact with your handwriting like you would in Apple Notes. So you can select to change the color and even resize what you're writing. When you write numbers that take up the whole width, Mess Notes automatically gives you the option to resize so that your answer can fit. It made me curious to see what would happen if I were to write a maths expression that is askew. It's a hit and miss, but I've had enough success to actually like the feature. We're still in the developer beta, so these results are quite promising. You can also type your math expressions, and Maths Notes automatically calculates the answer for you without putting the equal sign. Efficient. The app automatically inserts results for your maths, but you can change it to let it suggest results for you. So if you don't want it to automatically calculate, you have that option. Type maths is not as flexible and natural as handwritten maths. You can also adjust the numbers in your maths in case you've made a small error, like writing 12 when you meant 15. Instead of erasing to rewrite, you can dial up the number, literally like dial to increase it. The scribble to erase gesture also works to work faster in the app. We were hoping the adding space feature would work between the characters in our math expressions. That way we'll be able to create space in our equations to add or remove figures without having to rewrite anything. Well, of course, you can dial up. 10 to 10,000 for example, just adding those quickly and creating a space for them automatically or manually would actually be more useful and more natural. If the app doesn't recognize a character or number that you write, it clearly highlights it for you so you can change it or adjust it. But that doesn't happen often, so it's quite good at understanding what you're writing, which is exactly what you need, because you don't want to spend a lot of time fixing errors. I lament the hours I wasted learning to draw graphs in high school. When you write an equation in maths notes, the app prompts you to insert it. And all you have to worry about is the size of your graph, And whether or not you like its color. Should you ever need to compare some graphs, the app's got your back. I love how effortless it is to adjust your expressions or even change them completely if you like. But if you change a lot of things, the app is glitching a little bit. That's probably just a developer beta issue. Once you've drawn your graph, you can find the coordinates on your graph should you need to answer some questions on that. I'm not sure what type of file the graph is. It's obviously not a photo because it doesn't behave like one. Neither does it have any features that you typically find for photos. But you still have the option to duplicate graphs. I've also been able to copy it, but pasting it even in Apple Notes is impossible at this point. It feels like there's some features we're still waiting to see in the app and that those will actually make the graphs more photo-like. That remains to be seen, of course. The sidebar contains your calculation history in the app. Only this time, that history is actually notebooks because these also appear in Apple Notes.
you get the option to choose how your notebooks are sorted and grouped. Or you also get a recycle bin and can search through your notebooks in the app. Mets Notes can move your notebooks to other folders in Apple Notes. And you can even tag them. Mets Notes does not have many settings. You can change the app's dark background to light. But this doesn't change the sidebar and calculator icon. It also doesn't change your basic and scientific calculators. Like the calculator app on iPhone, we can add this one to the new control center in iPadOS 18. A calculator is such a handy utility that should be easily accessible with as little effort as possible. I was hoping we would get some widgets, but uh, perhaps some other time. Overall, an excellent addition to iPadOS 18. We look forward to more such updates that set the iPad apart from our iPhones. And just a side note, the feature works in Apple Freeform as well, but personally, I have not seen that. Uncle Dan has though. Don't forget to check out Paperless Humans, especially if you want to learn how to use Apple Notes, and we'll be covering Matt's Notes soon. What do you guys think about Matt's Notes? We hope you guys found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, thank you. Fantastic human for watching. See you in the next video.